For a column with a two-column primary key and queries filtering in lists on both columns, SQL Server is doing a clustered index seek on only the first column, then a filtering operation on the second column afterwards. He continues, is SQL capable of determining when a union would be better for a query instead? I read that whole entire question out because by now most of you are like, wait, what the... A train leaves Philadelphia and a jogger goes into his kitchen to get orange juice. When you're asking a question, try to filter it down to the simplest possible part of the question. Don't put any extra stuff in. Think of it as every word costs you money because it really costs you attention span on the other person who's having to answer the question. In this case, let's just go with the last several words of your question. Is SQL capable of determining when union would be better for a query instead? Maybe. It depends on how complex your query is. The more complex it is, the less time the SQL Server has to really consider. Now, that, that's, that generalization is a little tricky. SQL Server will take more time to try and build a better plan. But if you're gambling on SQL Server to rewrite your query for you in the most performant way, you're going to be in a, for a rough time through the rest of your career. It sounds like it's time where you know a better way to rewrite the query. You should do that. That's what query tuning is all about.